Hello dudes, welcome to Tector.com. In this lecture we will understand few basics of database management system. So we will go through few basic terms uh, like entity, entity type and entity set. So let's try to understand it with an example first. Consider we have a database and having a table or don't go to database directly I haven't explained so let's consider I'm storing information of student student in a table okay I have student ID I have name and I have age consider this is age well so this is E1 E2 similarly this is EN from Sham 14 12 John 13 well so this is a database of student so if you consider each record in this database table each record so this is some information about a person a student Sham the Sham has its own existence or identity in the universe of discourse, right? So, something like this or the object which has its own existence, independent existence in the real world is called entity. Okay? So, this is entity. Another record, this is RAM. This is again entity. This is student EN name John and age 13 this is also an entity so each record in this my storage table is an entity well now this Sham is an entity of what kind student okay so this is entity type okay so we say that Sham with <coughs> having name Sham and age 12 and ID even the student having name Sham ID even and age 12 is an entity of entity type student okay so entity type is collection of entities having common attributes okay so these all entity if you consider Ram Sham etc etc all of them are sharing common attributes okay so that's why they are the at they are the entity of same entity type that is student okay now let's consider what is entity set entity set is collection of one or more entity okay so if you take student e1 e2 and e3 this is one entity set okay another example you can take e2 e4 en similarly other entity ID student IDs so this will be another entity set okay so entity set is basically collection of one or more entity okay here if you see the student type itself is a entity set having all the entities okay so basically entity uh, entity type student is the superset of all the possible entity set okay now let's understand what is attribute attribute so attribute are those properties okay or which describes the entity if you consider each entity here this entity if you consider it has a property ID it has a property name and it has a property age which whose value is 12 okay so attribute is the property that describes this entity okay so for example in this case we have attribute ID we have attribute name and we have attribute age these are the attributes of this entity okay or this or student entity type okay so these are attribute now another one is domain 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 is the set of permitted value set of permitted 
value okay domain is set of permitted value for an for an attribute okay so this is domain if you consider this age here if you see if you have a constraint like you want to put age should be greater than 5 and for this particular institution you want to allow senior citizen to study also so in that case the age will be less than 100 well so the student will have age greater than 5 less than 100 well so the set of permitted value is 6 to or greater than 5 and less than 100 so this is the domain of age similarly whenever we de de design a database while defining or creating table we define attribute also and there we identify or define or uh, declare the type with each of each attribute of a table okay for example we declare entity uh, sorry we declare integer as a type where the only value is integer allowed for this particular attribute okay so this is domain well we will revise everything now entity is a object in the real world which has independent existence okay entity type is collection of entities with common attribute and the entity set is the collection of one or more entity where student or where entity type itself is a entity set having all the entities attribute is the com attribute is the properties that describe a entity whereas the attribute the domain is the set of permitted value for a particular attribute so i hope everything is clear if you have any doubt please ask question in doubt section we will be replying as soon as possible so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching